What happens when the Red Hulk and Thor gets into a fight? Well, this comic answers that question. The story starts and we see Captain America, Bruce Banner and Thor in a conversation with each other, with Thor telling them that if the Hulk and Thor join forces, no one in the universe can stand against them, let alone the villains of the Earth. Steve Rogers tells him that he might have misheard him because this was not what he was talking about. And suddenly Thor turns back and see that what is flying from the west and we see the Red Hulk Hulk is coming in front of him and Thor ready to fight. Now the Thor throws his Mjolnir directing it at Red Hulk and Red Hulk takes a damage sending him flying back. With Thor kicking him says that I told you that next time when you face me you won't stand a chance but here you are again. And now Thor smashes the Red Hulk in the face with his Mjolnir and he delivers many blows to the Red Hulk with his hammer and at last he targets the gut of the Red Hulk delivering serious injuries to the Red Hulk. And now Captain America screams at top of his lungs telling Thor that that's impulsive stop. And now Red Hulk grabs the hammer of the Thor with Thor telling him that do you wish to lift my hammer again without doing the trick of zero gravity and Thor removes his hand from the Mjolnir and Mjolnir drops to the ground with Hulk's hand beneath it. And now the Red Hulk struggles to remove his hands from the Mjolnir which is plummet to the ground and so are his hands. And now Thor tells him that Red Hulk Hulk has lost his ability to rob the powers of his enemies and now he's struggling. To which the Red Hulk replies that you're supposed to be helping me you stupid hippie and Thor tells him that he can leave the Mjolnir for a little long so that the Red Hulk can suffer more. And we see that the Red Hulk has removed his hand from Mjolnir and he has freed his hands once again. And now the Red Hulk is trying to talk sense into the Thor telling him that this is your last chance. I'm trying to save the planet with Steve Rogers. Are you going to drop your grudge with me? Me, or do we wreck the planet ourselves? Thor has a disappointed look on his face because this is the first time that someone has tried to give him orders and Thor with his ego tells the Red Hulk that he's Thor Odinson, he's not the god of understanding or reasoning, he's the god of thunder and with that he lights up the Red Hulk with Mjolnir and we see the skeleton of the Red Hulk due to lightning. Then Captain America suggests that Bruce Banner should turn into the Hulk to help things out but Bruce Banner tells him that him turning to the Hulk is not a solution and he has got a better one. In the meantime, both the Red Hulk and Thor are giving each other a tough time and we see Galactor appear out of nowhere telling them that your planet is going to die so evacuate your planet and both are just stunned that what is Galactus doing here and is he really going to destroy a whole planet just because the Red Hulk and Thor are fighting and we see that the Red Hulk has understood that this is not Galactus but someone else with Bruce Banner telling him that this is just a hologram. Its whole purpose was to stop the fight between the Red Hulk and Thor and it has served its purpose. And this is how the fight between Red Hulk and the Thor stops. Well there is not a clear winner. Well there is a no clear winner between both of them but we can say that the Red Hulk can give Thor some serious time. So who do you think is the real winner between both of them? Please do let me know in the comments below and please do share like and subscribe. It really helps us a lot to grow and you can also also watch here the biggest crossover between Marvel and DC Universe and how Aquaman lost his V card and Spider-Man vs Hulk. Thank you.